I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the IWC, just looking at the Facebook groups I'm in related to that, and some of the YouTube videos that have come out recently, and the Twitter posts that have gone viral about it, they're all extremely agitated about how 2014's Royal Rumble played out, or played off, where... Everyone is hoping Daniel Bryan would be in the actual Rumble match. He wasn't. He just jobbed out to Bray Wyatt in the first match, the first televised pay-per-view match of the event. There was a YouTube pre-show where the Rhodes Brothers job down lost their titles to the New Age Outlaw. So I'm guessing this is a setup, especially with the Rumble match where Goldust already turned on Cody Rhodes. Usually Cody Rhodes throws Goldust over the top rope, but now the tables have switched. They're going to beef pretty soon. They're going to have the WrestleMania match. And, but that's not what people are angry about. People are angry because the last two guys were Roman Reigns and Batista. Reigns was being like, he was putting 12 to 13 people over the top rope. He was clearly one of the MVPs of this event, but when they were the last two guys, you basically were forced to cheer for one of them, and everyone picked Reigns. Everyone was pissed off at this event, because they realized, hey, Brian wasn't in it. And of course, Batista won, so he was going to be in the main event of WrestleMania 30. I'm glad that they finally have a WrestleMania in the dirty self. See that 30, uh, dirty, I gotta focus on those pronunciations, I had that problem since I was 7 years old, and it was self-inflicted and it became habitual, but it's not as bad as it used to be. And for like 5 years straight, they were going in Atlanta, they were going Georgia, Florida, Arizona, Five years of that boring-ass self, but now they're going in the nasty self. Not the transient self, not the... That kind of self. I'm talking about Louisiana. Oh, WrestleMania in Louisiana. Let's see how this plays off. A lot of people are mad that... He's going to be in the title shot because the guy's been gone for a while, but I know this is how WWE likes to handle things where they give the title off to the part-timers during Mania season. I guess because their current stars aren't worth shit. <laughs> now that you're getting ectomorphs and guys that are five foot nothing like me getting the title and shit. And Cena ain't over for shit. The crowd was really not feeling this, especially because they had to deal with Cena versus Warren number 5,000. But I'm really not going to talk about that because I can't form an original opinion on that. All I can say is that these guys have been feeling so much... They should really play it off as some type of weird bromance thing. Just to add another layer. It just seems like these guys that work 500 matches with each other yet they still don't know how to work well together. What's up with that? Like, how hard is it for you guys to do a good match against each other? It shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> Cena's not as bad as a wrestler as people say he is, and Orton has its moments. But damn, do they mess up. I'm 
besides that, I think the Usos are going to go for the tag team title against What's-His-Face New Age Outlaws. And they're going to win it there, which I really hope that's how it plays off, because it's been five years way too long. They need their titles. This is their time. They're over as shit. They have awesome matches. What's not to like about them? At the moment, they're they're made for this division. Twins, Samoan, high flying ability. They can connect with the crowd. Can't even get guys in the heavyweight division to do that shit. And it's been hyped up for three to four years that these world guys are gonna face each other in a sibling rivalry feud. So, do it. Have Rhodes get put over by Goldus. I know that's passive grammar, what I just did, but... Whatever. It's... He needs it. Rhodes gets jobs out to, like, the same old people every time. As a face, as a heel... He should eventually be seen as a contender for the title. And he's going to need to beat a legend at Mania. Why not? I like Rhodes. I've liked him since 2011. On a positive note, I'm going to think about this on the bright side. Everyone was hoping that Batista would fight Lesnar for the title. And with Lesnar saying he's going to go for the winner of Cena or Orton's match, which is going to be Orton right now. If Lesnar somehow wins the title, then yeah, he's going to face Batista. So that dream match everyone's been jizzing for for about a decade... The one that we got to see in OVW, but not really in a WWE environment, especially in something as colossal as Mania. We're going to get that, but a title is going to be involved. WWE likes to do that. They like to get these fantasy matches nowadays, but they throw a title in there even though it's not necessary. It's good to see it in the main event, but no. One thing I'm concerned about is the fact that Daniel Bryan is... he said They say he's going to fight Sheamus at Mania again, and Sheamus just made his return after Mania. I don't want to see him fight in Mania for a third time. They are no Stone Cold and Rock. That's not their role. They can't do that. And they won't be successful at that shit, because that's not them. They don't have the feud to end all feuds. So maybe someone should face Undertaker, one of them. I know Sheamus wants to face Undertaker. I know... Daniel Bryan's been rumored to be the guy that faces Taker, but there's also rumors of Sting, so the waters have been muddied a little. And you have the potential feud that's been rumored for Bray Wyatt and John Cena. Okay. So I can already see this as an interesting WrestleMania card looking ahead. Guys, WrestleMania is, I don't think it's ever been, uh, it's supposed to be a showcase for the morals, but it's starting to become somewhat of its own vacuous thing, where all storylines start from scratch, once World to WrestleMania starts, and they all sort of implode soon after that, so we're in that state where... You're going to get Daniel Bryan. 
eventually in that picture, but it's not going to be for something as sellouty as Mania. I've seen this happen year in and year out. <laughs> they like to put that shit in Twilight Zone, all the storylines and conflicts, because... They like choosing the most sell outy storylines, and I really can't blame them, but okay. Throwing some celebrities in there. It's not a true wrestling fan's dream event anymore. Maybe they should settle for SummerSlam. I mean, you had. Three Summer Slams so far in a row that have had those three matches that the fans wanted without the sellout bullshit. Anyway, I'm not even gonna close this video with a catchphrase. Fuck all of you. You can all go to hell. <laughs>